What we did in this study was we looked to try to figure out, based on the genetics of the virus and what we knew about coronaviruses before this, where the virus might have come from. So one thing I can tell you is, is that this is not a bioweapon. Nobody made this virus in a laboratory. This is a product of nature. What we believe is, is that the virus, probably a long time ago, uh, originated from a, a bat species because there are coronaviruses of bats that are very similar to this new coronavirus, the SARS coronavirus 2. But there are other parts of the virus that look more like other animal coronaviruses. So what we believe is, is that this is a recombinant. So the virus combined from two different species to create a virus that is now infecting humans. Now, we don't know how long the virus was in humans. Uh, it could be just a few months could be years, could be decades. Uh, but what we do know is, is that there are a few small changes that were made in the virus that allowed it to spread more rapidly. We know that the origin of this virus is different than the original SARS um, virus. Uh, that virus was actually a, a zoonosis. It's a disease that spreads from animals directly to humans. Uh, this virus definitely originated in animals, uh, probably bats and some other animals too. You probably heard on the news uh, talk about this uh, spiny anteater uh, that has uh, some viruses that are similar. So what we think is, is that this virus is a recombinant. It probably came from a bat virus, uh, plus perhaps one of these viruses from the pangolin. It recombined, the genetic material came together, and then it probably spread in humans for a while. We don't know how long. It could have been months, could have been decades of this virus spreading and evolving uh, in some other animal or humans. And then finally, just that one little mutation that occurred that allowed it to spread more rapidly.